Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are going to unbox Kyle Gray's Keeper of the Light Oracle Cards. The artwork is by Lily Moses. It is published by Hay House and it retails for $19.99. So he happens to be one of um, my favorite Oracle deck cards, the Angels and Ancestors. That's by Kyle Gray. And he has another deck coming out in September, I believe. So I'm excited. So hopefully this is just as good. This says the Keepers of the Light are a powerful congregation of enlightened souls who are dedicated to the peace, healing, and nurturing of the world. The stunning card deck is a bridge between heaven and earth, drawing together 45 ascended masters, spiritual deities, and higher beings from many world traditions who are here to help all those who call on them. This deck has been designed for spiritual seekers looking to develop their intuition, embrace their spiritual gifts, and trust the messages they are receiving. Are you ready to connect? Let the keepers of the light guide you. So, uh, retails for $19.99. Um, I will link everywhere I know um, that sells it down in the description box below. I am not sponsored or paid for these reviews or unboxing videos. I just want you guys to be able to um, look through and if they work for you, you'll know where to find them. All right, so it is a nice thick little box. All righty. And we have the book and then we have the cards. Okay. So let me just see if there's anything specific in here that we need to know. The deck is explained, creating the relationship, conducting the readings, and then interpreting <laughs> the cards. Okay, so. The Keepers of the Light Oracle comprises 45 cards that have no particular order or importance. Every single one offers an opportunity for you to receive a message you need to hear at this point on your spiritual journey. Angels, Ascended Masters, Goddesses and Gods, and Twin Flames. Okay. And then I think that's all we really need to know for right now. We do have some spreads, it looks like. And then it goes into the cards. Okay, let's get into it. Ooh, so there's the back. There is a gloss finish on it. All right. So it does have everything really that you need to know at a glance on the card, which is fantastic. They are a little bit thin. Um, I don't think they'll be that much of a problem. I think they'll uh, shuffle really nicely. They're not too, they're not like in like a horrible thinness. Oh, I love these. Okay. Yeah, they feel good through the hands sliding through. They're good size, they're average Oracle deck size. And I like that there is a little phrase about the card there. So it's perfect for beginners. The art is really, really neat. I like it. It's a little bit more cartoony than his um, Angels and Ancestor deck. I know there's a lot of you out there that comment and say that you don't like real faces in your tarot decks. I think for me, it just depends on how the artwork is. Um, so these don't look creepy or menacing to me. So it's not really a, a problem, but yeah, there's sometimes they're a little unnerving when you're trying to um, divinate. <laughs> but yeah, they're, these don't seem to bother me too much at all. But it is interesting, the difference of opinions and what people like out of their decks. I always love hearing what you guys think. Yeah, the colors are really nice. I'm loving all of the phrases on here. I love the diversity. I love that there's um, something for everyone here. And then you're learning about different um, uh, I guess you can say religions and you're learning about different um, masters, enlightened masters and all of that stuff. Oh, 
Oh, there's Odin. So what we'll do is we'll shuffle these cards when we're done flipping through here. We'll see how well they shuffle and then we'll pull a card and see how the guidebook reads. And this way you can kind of um, get a feel for how it would work if you purchase this for yourself. I think these would be great for a card a day pull um, to see what to focus on throughout the day, meditation. Gorgeous. Okay, let's shuffle these guys. And you know, I'm happy none of the cards stuck together. They didn't um, have to be pulled apart. Sometimes with the glossy coat, they'll stick. These are really nice. They shuffle great. Um, they bounce back to their shape really nicely. No complaints. No complaints. Perfect. Let's shuffle this way. Yeah. Yeah, no, these are great. Um, I think this is a, a deck for like a certain, um, like I think you might have to be actively looking for this type of deck or this might be something that is a deck that you work with for your spirit guides or your ancestors as well. Um, but yeah, I can, I can see this being a specific kind of Oracle deck for that. Um, but yeah, for your daily pulls, I don't have a, I don't see a problem I should say with that. So let's go ahead and pull one of the cards here. And we got Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. So let's go ahead and see. I know that there was a, uh, here we go, the table of content. So that will get you there quicker. Uh, Master Buddha, 76. All right. So about the Buddha, Siddha, Siddhartha, got, oh goodness, I'm going to butcher these and I mean no disrespect. Siddhartha Gautama, I'm so sorry, <laughs> he started his life as a rich molly -coddled, coddled prince, but one day he broke free from the palace and was exposed to sickness, age, and death. This shook him and set him off on a spiritual adventure that would lead him to leave behind all earthly pleasures and seek enlightenment so that he could end suffering in the world. Now he helps us make contact with our inner teacher and encourages us to acknowledge how we feel and then accept it so that we can move beyond the suffering we feel extended message. So this is what it means. You are moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can be more focused on your priorities and what is serving you on this path. All suffering eventually comes to an end and acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way will help you move beyond it. Call on Master Buddha now to help you remember you are part of something that is greater than suffering. The wheel of karma is turning in your favor and all your acts of kindness and goodness will benefit you. Thoughts may arise now that solve issues in your life, home, relationships, or work. They are being sent to you from your inner teacher, the Buddha, the Buddha within. Okay. Okay. So that is great. Um, I love that it gives you a little bit about the um, person in the card because, you know, for someone who doesn't know off, you know, or wasn't aware of, this is definitely something that could be useful. Um, and then it gives you the um, divination meaning. It gives you the keywords and the phrase. I think it's perfect. I think it is a fantastic oracle deck that, you know, if you're trying to get in touch with spirit guides or your enlightenment, this is great. Uh, card today pool. Um, I'm excited to start using this in the pick of cards and um, these are great. I have no complaints. $19.99. Oh, my light in here is getting crazy. I apologize. Um, uh, yeah, I'll link everywhere that I know where to find it down in the description box below. For $19.99, I think you are getting a fantastic 
little deck. And um, if you guys uh, follow hayhouse.com, which is the publisher, they usually do really good sales. Um, so sometimes you can find these for $8.99, um, so half off, that sort of a thing. So keep an eye out for those Hay House sales. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> although it sounds like I am not sponsored, but um, I've just been really happy with um, my service and um, the Hay House uh, website, so fantastic. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about this deck down in the, the, <laughs> in the comment section below. Do you own this deck? Do you use this deck? Um, is this one you will be avoiding because of the faces? Um, yeah, I have no problem with this at all. I think it's great. The artwork is fun. It's a little less realistic, so um, maybe it could be a good one to try if you guys are a little wary of the, the faces in your decks. All right, so let me know what you think. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.